connection established. Welcome. In today's video, my guest is the most famous single board computer in the world, the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi 3B Plus to be exact. If you're planning to get Pi or just bought one and you're not sure how to set up rating system on it, I'll try to help. Today I will show you how to give life to Raspberry Pi by installing Kali operating system. Search for links in the description to see where I bought Pi. All accessories and for websites visited in this video. First of all, let's take a look on Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and its specifications. With a price of approximately 50 US dollars, you can buy single board computer with next specifications. Brain of the Pi is Broadcom BCM2837 B0 Cortex A53 60 bit socket on chip working at 1.4 GHz frequency. It comes with 1 GB LPDDR2 SD RAM, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz 80211 BGN AC wireless LAN, Bluetooth 4.2, Gigabit Ethernet over USB 2.0 with a maximum throughput of 300 megabits per second. Extended 40 pin GPUI header, full size HDMI, 4 USB 2.0 ports, CSI camera port for connecting a Raspberry Pi camera, DSI display port for connecting a Raspberry Pi touchscreen display, 4 pole stereo output and a composite video port, micro SD port for loading your operating system and storing data. 5 volts slash 2.5 amperes DC power input and power over Ethernet support, which requires separate power over Ethernet hat. As you saw, it comes with a lot of stuff squeezed on this small beautiful green board. To power it, we'll need 2.5 amperes micro USB power supply. To add operating system and for storing data on Pi, we will use 16 GB micro SD card and micro SD adapter to flash Kali to SD card when using graphical interface of installed OS. To get faster response, I saw that a lot of people recommend to use micro SD card with at least 16 GB. Now, if you're asking why have I chosen Kali OS, answer is simply because I want to play with its tools to test my home network vulnerabilities. Ok, let's go to website link is in description, to download Kali for Raspberry Pi. Choose last option for 60-bit to download. Next, we will need to flash Kali to SD card. To do that, I'll use Balina Etcher. Go to Etcher website and download it. After download is done, start it. Select Kali OS image we've downloaded. Insert SD card to SD adapter. Insert SD adapter to your PC and select that card in Etcher. In my case, card is detected automatically. Press flash and wait until it is done. When it is done, take SD card and insert it in Raspberry Pi. I have small gift for Raspberry Pi. Couple of heat sinks to get off a few degrees of heat. If you have HDMI cable, you can connect it to your monitor, which I didn't do and I will tell you why in a few seconds. Plug power cable to Pi and you should see that the red LED is turned on. Wait a few minutes for first boot. In my case, Kali already had installed OpenSSH, so that is why I didn't connect Pi to monitor. Instead, I used PuTTY to SSH to Raspberry Pi from my PC. I have DHCP enabled on my router and I've connected Pi to it over Ethernet. Router gave some IP to Raspberry Pi. To find it, I downloaded Angry IP Scanner, added IP range and start scanning. That way I found IP of Raspberry Pi and was able to connect to it with PuTTY over SSH. To see how to install PuTTY, open SSH and to use SSH, take a look at my previous video, link is in top right corner. Username is root and password is TOOR. Whoops. 
Let's enter again. And we are in. Let's try to print working directory. Nice, it's working. In case you want to access Kali graphical interface without physical cable connection like HDMI, you can use VNC. Virtual network computing is a graphical desktop sharing system that allows you to remotely control the desktop interface of one computer running VNC server from another computer or mobile device running VNC viewer. Go to Raspberry Remote Access website, the link is in the description, select VNC and there you will find nice explanation about how to install it on Raspberry and your PC. I already have installed VNC server on Raspberry, so I will SSH to Raspberry and start VNC server. Now open VNC viewer on your PC. Select Raspberry IP and add port 5901 and connect. VNC is not encrypted connection, so be careful. Enter password for Kali root, that is TOOR by default. I've changed mine. It's working pretty smooth. Let's enter full screen mode. Very nice. And that's it. I hope you learned something new and found useful information in this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Good luck.